Right next to uh, Fears of the Knowledges. And from the last one, we read about the Pent. The Pent is, is given forth again some very interesting knowledge. You know? Because basically, uh, the Pent is the point. Right? So again, when you have the, the, the pen, it's um, like the pen is mightier than the sword. Right? It's like the peace idea. Right? The United Nations type idea, you know, the peace. The, uh, the turning swords into plowshares and the pen is mightier than the sword. So again, that pen is mightier than the sword is referencing the, uh, the syringe. Right? So when you have this Pentecost, um, it's like a, you know, a Christian Jewish festival and all that. It takes place on the fifth, obviously the five, like the pen, the Penta, but also the seventh Sunday. See, um, see what this is about. And uh, <clears throat> it's a harvest festival. See, so when they're talking about a harvest, they're talking about a harvest of uh, people, you know, not grain uh, crops in a field or something. They're talking about harvest and people, basically. And that means, yeah, like sickling them, scything them, you know, like cruelness or whatever, in, you know, castrating them, making eunuchs of them, see? So that's the harvest idea. Harvest Festival, if you remember that song by the Christians, uh, it was called uh, Harvest for the World. So again, that was a Buddha trans program. Pentecost. So here we right here. You have a ballpoint pen, right? And this year, uh, the pen was obviously uh, created, made after the trans uh, syringes were made, right? So when they when they when they came up with the idea of a pen, right? It was done after the syringes were made, as you see, steel brass, the same as the the brass serpent. Again, the pent, you know, the point, the pent. And obviously, like when you have a ball point, it's something that they were, you know, again being castrated or something, you know, a ball point pen. Right here. But these were obviously done after the trans uh, syringes and medicine was created. Because obviously the first ones was their uh, feathers, you know, like uh, bird feathers, what they dipped in ink. <coughs> so he has that uh, Christian's harvest for the world. And uh, I think these was two free brothers, right? Three brothers who were called Christian, like their surname was Christian. You know, that was the Christian's uh, pop group and that. So this harvest the uh, idea is about um, what do you call it? Uh, <coughs> trans, trans program. It's this T neck imprint. You know, T neck. Isley brothers, Eastley brothers. So you know, this harvest idea is totally always used in, in such a manner. And there's the uh, one about the Christian, see, Gary Christian, Roger Christian, and Russell Christian. And Henry Priestman, <laughs> you know, Henry Christian Priestman. That's the uh, totally Masonic as, you know, that uh, pop group and that, from Liverpool. <laughs> exactly like that Baphomet thing and that, how trans. Look at this here, because <clears throat> you, you see that you've got the harvest, and look how similar it is to the trance, you know, the word. Harvest trance, I don't know what that is like, but look at that. <laughs> harvest trance, so you know, the, the like there, uh, like the harvest trance in that uh, university in, in America. Is Harvard not very similar to Oxford and Cambridge in uh, Britain? You know, one of them very posh uh, universities and that. <coughs> so it's a day with the harvest, you see? It's a day with the harvest, like. You can see this here, uh, steers on the clergyman idea. Colonial America. The day with the Massachusetts thing and all that, which was the day with the going to the New World or something. So you see what it's all about. Again, going to the 
going to the new world must have been a name metaphor for the trance, you know, look at that, the harvest, cr the harvest crimson, the blood, you know, so again, you know, it's all about the same thing, really. Filling the blood for the trance hormones. And you have this, um, the pen is mightier than the sword. This is, you know, this is obviously again, this is like the trans metaphor, seeing that the trans idea is more sort of powerful than the uh, natural way. Again, like that, always ideas about peace and war and violence and that. And what Paul Wallington. Yeah, so it's what it's talking about is the uh, you know the syringe is mightier than the than the sword. See this here, be superior. You know that sums up the sort of trans outlook, doesn't it? You know, reminds us of that Masonic one where he was saying they were the sort of superior man and that. You know, the trans. You had that uh, that movie, Point Break. You know, and this was all about trans using again, you know, all about hormone users. And point break. Like the break and point or something where it, you know, that the you know, like again dualistic code where they want to break naturals. You know, at the break, at the break point. You want to get to uh, naturals to break, you know. But uh, it's also like the dualistic is they inject the hormones like pointillism technique of painting with small distinct dots of colour. So again you see the trans code in this, these are our transes. Related to divisionism, you know. So obviously these are trans ideas what come from them. Sotheby's. Yes, yeah, HM Prison Pentonville. It's got to be a bit like the devil, you know, the devil type of idea. Bar Barnsbury, East Lincoln, is Lincoln. That's like the sheep pen, you know, the sheep pen. And the sort of on T cord and the devil like the good, you know, all the codes in it. The bill. The like evil, you know, evil. Of course even this read is coded like for their uh, system in that read. That means initially tail. Like an animal's tail read. This must be named right because look at the code. You got the pen, and you got the uh, the is the east. Right. So if the the pen is the five, this is like the fifth limb type of thing. You know, like yeah. Uh, I, I think what the dean is right when they, when they're referring to naturals and that, they're seeing basically that the natural has five limbs, i.e., two arms, two legs, and in an air uh, sex organ. Right. And they're seeing when they're, their own trances have got five limbs, yeah, two legs, two arms and a head, a brain, right? So basically they're t cutting off the brain from the, uh, like the natural one, see, with the coded system. And obviously when you have the, the pen, it can reverse, you know, it can reverse this idea type of thing, see? So everything's coded in with that, with that system and that. So like, yeah, when you take this idea, read about the, um, you know, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the beheading of John the Baptist, right? Again, works in two ways, right? Because I've, uh, yeah, it's like a symbol for the, uh, the castration, right? And B, when you apply it to the sort of natural, it becomes like you remove their brains. You remove their head from their body so they can't think and all that, right? It's again a dualistic idea. But, um...
I see, I seen a bit of this on this movie the other night, right? And they kept emphasizing this idea of the uh, remove the head or destroy the brain, right? It was emphasized about five times, like in the movie, in that night. So you know, I think about that. It's like it's a weird like you, uh, how you control the populace. You either remove the head, which means castration, or you destroy the brain. You now, which means hex, right? That's how to control the sort of population, turn them into eunuchs. Or, uh, you know, get the brains uh, screwed up, you know what I mean? Of course, there's zombies out there that I was using it now, like, you know. Move their heads or injure their brains. See, they're using this here uh, method against people, right? Also, just an interesting little piece I noticed on this, yeah, the characters, the characters' names, right? You had one called Liz, like as in the Queen Liz, Queen Elizabeth, right? You had one called Ed, as in Edward, you know, Edward, head of Freemasonry. You had this one, Lucy Davis, as Diana, right? And you had this one as David, Dylan Moran, is David and these two was like here, yeah, you know, like a girlfriend and boyfriend there uh, together and all that. See, David and Diana. So this is to a Royal Masonic. This here, uh, this movie and that. I mean, the way they all are like, but this one had you know very uh, Masonic little ideas in it and all that. When you got the pen, read the pen. Yeah, and this in, in, in this Sean Penn read, he's always here yeah, like doing stuff to do with United Nations and the uh, what do you call it, you know, like this charity work and humanitarian causes and all this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So of course, you know, it's the pen, it's the, the peace there, uh, you know, the syringe, you know. The Ukrainian you know, always this bullshit. And of course, you know, he's here on their own transits. So he said, you know, and he wonder he's involved in all this United Nations stuff and that. The climate pact. Yeah, you got one the, the Italian's top here, professional tennis player. And the pen and the ET, you know, the, the ET. The Masonic goods all over the world, you know, not here. Uh, just in, you know, Britain and America or whatever. Knight of Order, Merit of the Republic. A Teddy Pendergrass, you know. Okay, no, a pen user. And being a swan, you know that the holder swan is a symbol of the uh, trance. That's one that's main symbols of, of being a trance. Swan pens. Know how the heart is the symbol of you know the symbol of love, and the symbol of trans program. You know when they do that heart shape with the fingers. And the same with the with the swan. You know forming the heart. And uh, you know this might be the sort of the the reason f f for why they do that symbol. Forms the heart and forms the twenty two, which of course is the four dollar. So you see what I mean? That links into their system of the um, doing things in that. This horse is called Swan Heart there, like it says it are like. Of course that's to do with that. You know, like the sacreds and the profanes. Transes and naturals basically, right? Of course, yeah, see yeah, profanus literally be outside the temple, right? 
So pure fear means outside the temple of Serena, it means non-trans, basically. 